Now, as we head up the East Coast, we're expecting to see up to about eight inches of snow in parts of Massachusetts. Meteorologist uh, Mike Seidel is in Natick, and those uh, flakes are flying. Um, how much snow has uh, Natick seen so far, Mike? Uh, so far, four inches. It's a powdery snow. Our temperatures fell overnight, now down in the upper 20s, and they will get even lower by uh, dinner time, and everything's going to freeze up. Quick update on the impacts. You can see the roads snow packed, snow covered. They've been salted and plowed. This is basically what you see all around this area west of Boston. Logan Airport doing pretty good. 35 rain and snow mix, nothing on the ground at Logan. Cancellations, 149, that's where it stood last night. So we have lucked out so far at Logan because temperatures have stayed above freezing. But out here in the suburbs, we've had as much as 10 inches of snow around the Worcester area. And so it keeps adding up another three to five to go. Hey, let's talk to a, a person, a guy that uh, seeing his first snowstorm. It's actually our four-legged friend, a Sammy, and it's Frankie. And this is uh, Gabe, Gabe. Brzezino from Natick, at nine months old. Yep. First time seeing the snow. Absolutely. Seems like uh, Frankie loves it. Yeah, he loves Frankie, it. Frankie, you love the snow, buddy? Come here. You love the snow, huh? Are you eating the snow? He could be out here all day. All day. Well, I talked to a lady yesterday who has some Alaskan Huskies and said, they're just going to come out in the snow and lay it in all day. It's kind of like going to the beach. Yeah. So yep. look at this. We've been out here since nine Hello, Frankie. He doesn't want to go in, so we're, we're just going to have to be out here as long as he wants to. Frankie. <laughs> Oh, what a good doggy. Hello, Frankie. Ah, yeah. Oh, this is a good looking doggy. I've got two dogs at home. Oh, yeah. I miss them so much when I leave. Oh, yeah. I only know. only a little bit less than my wife but uh, and my family. But yeah. <laughs> so what's the plan today? Just hang out? The plan is just to hang out. Yep. Uh, run him around a little bit. I mean, he is a, a sled dog. We don't have a sled, but I mean, that's oh, what okay. he actually wants to do is to, to pull me around all day. So interesting yeah so are you thinking about getting a sled i think so yeah there's a special setup we'll have to get but i mean he's only nine months now so we'll probably have to wait you know until he's stronger he's full of grown yeah but so, he's only half the size is going to be now if you let him go he'll just run like crazy he'll right run like crazy hello he has an enormous amount of energy loves to chew on my glove yeah he i think like his it. favorite bone is in my finger exactly hello there frankie that's that puppy tendency yeah puppies hey well gabe yeah it was great to uh, meet you yeah, out you here too, yeah and frankie Oh, hello there, Frankie. Enjoy your first storm, and hopefully there'll be more snow this season, because last year was kind of a dud, huh? It was, yeah. So I really like what we're seeing so far, and he does. And, and by the way, tomorrow, back to work? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Work from home, but yeah. Oh, you work from home. There, well, there you go. You don't have to worry about the, the flash freeze. Exactly. That's Frankie yep. and Gabe and Molly. This is, uh, this is what the snowstorm is all about, having, especially on a Sunday, because it is the first one of the season. It's on a Sunday. People don't really have to go to work in school, and you can really enjoy it here in Natick, west of Boston. Well, it looks like you're enjoying it. Obviously, Frankie's enjoying it. I think Mike just made a new friend there. <laughs> <laughs> we want to show you uh, what the storm's going to be doing after the fact. Oh, there he goes, Frankie again. It is time to get the shovels out, and this fine lady here in the Natick area this morning was shoveling the snowfall. We've had about four inches plus so far. Uh, it was a heavier wet snow. Now it's got more of a fluffy feel to it because temperatures are in the upper 20s. The plows have been out all night. You can hear the uh, beep, beep, beep around the parking lots. They don't mess around up here. They're the professionals, but they haven't had much to, uh, snow to plow in the past couple of years. Last year, about a foot at Logan, but it, you know, dribs and drabs. And Logan so far doesn't have any snow because it's 35 they do have some snow falling so that's really cut back on the impact there 149 flights canceled about half of those are cape air the regional airline so that hasn't really changed since we talked to you late last night and there's probably no de-icing i would suspect not listed on the faa site because temperatures are above freezing so uh all all is well out there about 90 flights delayed so far that's about 10 percent of the schedule at logan meanwhile this is what they've been doing out here this morning, shoveling the sidewalk in downtown Natick. This morning, uh, looking, let's show the shovelers, please, down the street. And you can see uh, they're making quick work here, but notice where they've shoveled closer to the camera, it's already covered up again with the snow. Not snowing particularly hard because of the uh, situation 
You're getting it at light to moderate at times. You can see it rolling in from the south and west and uh, also a little bit from the southeast too, coming off the Atlantic. So we're gonna be in this till late this afternoon. We're expecting another three to five inches of snow. Our total out here will be probably uh, six to eight. We've already had double digit snowfall totals around the Worcester area and the areas up through the Merrimack Valley. Uh, even close to Boston, Molly, Saugus, which is not far from uh, the city center in Boston has had several inches. So you don't have to get too far out of the city to get some accumulating snow, but let me give you a fashion tip, Molly. You ready for a fashion tip? I think you are. Look at this. This is not the day to wear your uh, Jimmy Choo heels. It's slushy because of the salt and the daylight, but here's what's gonna happen tonight and late this afternoon. Once the sun sets, which is about 4.30, this is all gonna freeze up. So be extra careful. Uh, tomorrow morning, back to work in school. We'll see how schools run, if there's a delay uh, underway in some of these uh, school districts in eastern Massachusetts. Also, a good uh, bet and a good suggestion, Molly, right now is to try to plow and scrape your sidewalk and driveway before, say, 4, 4.30 when it gets dark. Otherwise, you're really going to need a jackhammer. This is just going to be solid ice uh, later on this evening. Mike, I appreciate the fashion tip, and I'm very glad to hear that you left your high heels at home this time and traded them for the snow boots. It's probably best. Yeah, uh, you got to make those fashion adjustments in a snowstorm. It's just good to be back in men's clothes. Anyway, uh, <laughs> back to you, Molly. <laughs> All right, Mike, uh, thank you there in Massachusetts. Let's head to Soda Springs, California. Meteorologist Mike Seidel is in Natick, and we are watching uh, that snowfall, Mike. Yeah, and from your last shot, you look a little different. You have some glasses on, you have the hood up, and the flakes are much fatter. They are. It's snowing heavier here. Worcester nearby has reported heavy snow. They're at 24 degrees. Logan, 35. So again, you get closer to the coast. It changes to a rain-snow mix, and there is basically nothing on the ground in the city itself in Boston. So that's helping out Logan. Another three to five today. This will wind down later on today. That a flash freeze tonight. So shovel and scrape before it gets dark. We've got some folks from Puerto Rico. We would like to switch places. This is Linda and her son Joseph, Joseph Rivera. And you're here on vacation. You've been here since before New Year's. This is not the first time you've seen snow. No. But what do you think? Um, it's amazing. I always love the snow, um, the cold. You like the cold? But, you know, you can go back to Puerto Rico, but she told me earlier it's too hot there. But this time of the year, it actually gets below 70 at night. At night, yes. 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 So it's nice to visit. Yes. And then in the summer, mm. you, you stay in the air conditioning? Oh, yes. Our, the fan, some folks doesn't have um, air conditioning. So they, the fans, huh? It's and, not enough, though. <laughs> Joseph, what do you think? Is it, uh, you like the snow? Yes. Yes? Well, you got to go back to school this week, right? Yes. So you're leaving on Tuesday, huh? Yes. Yeah. Sadly, yes. Who wants to go with her back to Puerto Rico? Mm. <laughs> well, thanks for joining us. You're welcome. Enjoy the snow and a Thank safe you. trip back to uh, the island. Yes. And uh, we're happy we didn't have to go there this season for hurricanes. Uh -huh. And the earthquake. I mean, you deal with hurricanes. Yes. And uh, the earthquakes uh -huh. and, and the power outages. Power out, yep. and I know. The water too. And the water issues, <laughs> yes. my gosh. So, God bless you guys. Thank Safe you. trip. We've Thank got somebody you. else over here, another dog. This is Chris and Kuzik. Kuzik. Hello, Kuzik. Another dog that loves the snow. Absolutely. I mean, he's is this another Sammy? He, he is uh, seven years old. So, as a seven year old Siberian, he absolutely enjoys this. It's very hard to get him inside. Um, hard? Actually, he would prefer to stay outside all day. Now, when it's cold and not snowy, nothing on the ground, would they prefer to be in the just out in the cold, huh? They just prefer to be out in the cold, yeah. Any time it gets above 50, it gets a little hot for them, so when it comes down to it, even during the summer, our house is kept at a balmy 62 degrees. Wow! Um, so That's cold! Making sure that he's comfortable. Oh, okay. hello there! We need to talk a little bit. You want to talk to me? Are vocal breed. Are you vocal? Um, you want to give me a call? Like I said, he is about the and he can be at seven years old. He's lost all of his energy at this point, so he's just a coming Oh, look at this doggie. Oh my gosh. We love the doggies, huh? <laughs> okay, Molly, there you go. I'm the one with the short ears. Don't make that mistake. <laughs> you know, Gosh. Mike, I'm, I'm very jealous of you this morning, not because you're getting all of this fantastic snow, it's because you're meeting all of the best dogs out there. Come on. 
We have had some great dogs out here this morning and the ones that love the snow. I mean, some dogs, when it's cold, I know it was in Chicago for the polar vortex or four years ago, and they, we talked to people literally had to push their dogs out the door so they could do their business. It was that cold. Well, today, though, we're in the upper 20s, so not, nothing like that, but boy, this look. Eats the snow too. Huh? Look, he's eating the snowball. Well, I love th that. And there's nothing thank, better than watching you, a dog thank having you. fun in the snow. <laughs> yeah, enjoy the rest of your day. Do you have to go to work tomorrow? I unfortunately do, but yep. um, you know, hopefully it won't be too bad. Oh uh, no, it's just early in the morning. A lot of ice and freeze. Yeah, thankfully I'm on the afternoon shift tomorrow, so I won't have to worry about it. There you go. Okay, Molly, back to you. We'll keep you updated. We'll be here through the afternoon, and we will be sledding later on. So stick around for that. That should be fun too. Another reason why I'm jealous of you this morning, Mike. Thank you. And you're looking uh, above Natick as the snow moved in overnight. The temperatures fell into the upper 20s. It was a slow start last night when we were on the air. We had wet snow. It was like 35, 36 degrees. But now we're safely in the cold air, and those temperatures will continue to plummet through the afternoon. And by tomorrow morning out here, we'll be in the upper teens, uh, 20, 21 in Boston. So any slush, any snow, any liquid will freeze quickly after sundown. So again, uh, tip is to get out and scrape and shovel before it gets dark. Otherwise, by tomorrow morning, you'll need like a pickaxe and a, a, and a jackhammer. Uh, let's uh, show you some of the uh, issues around here. This is Natick, and this is what you're going to see in the suburbs where it's cold. Worcester's 24. They've had about 10 inches of snow out here. We've had five so far in counting, but notice the roads are snow packed and snow covered. We'll see the plows come by occasionally. They put salt down, but again, it's not the, the kind of driving where you can uh, speed. You've got to slow down, give yourself extra distance. As far as power outages, about 9,000 statewide, a very small number, half of those here in Middlesex County and at Logan Airport, still looking good. It's 34 light snow. Uh, the bottom line is they have really nothing on the ground there. But uh, the bad news is the FAA has instituted a ground delay program, which kicks in at 1 p.m. Eastern, and that'll go through this evening. So there'll be spacing planes, and so there will be delays uh, picking up. Right now, we've got 143 flights delayed so far. Cancellations? Not bad, about 15% of flights in and out of Logan today, 149. By the way, that's only one cancellation since last night. So we've done very, very well at Logan. If we'd had this kind of setup and more snow, Molly, we would have had more cancellations and more issues. Not that we have enough, and here goes a public works, Natick Public Works plow. So again, heads up. After sundown tonight, things are gonna ice up very quickly. And here comes another plow, they're everywhere. Take a look, here's a, a huge plow coming down the side street here in Natick. Molly, back to you in Atlanta. Nobody clears snow like Massachusetts, right? Well, we want to take you now. To Let's take you straight out to the Boston Metro right now. That's where we find meteorologist Mike Seidel. Mike, how are things looking over there in Wellesley? Oh, it is a great Sunday afternoon. How would you rather spend the first weekend of 2024 but out sledding? I got a bunch of new friends here. Hello, gentlemen. Are you having a great morning? Yeah. yeah. Now you told me last year it was uh, sledding on grass, right? Yeah. Basically, yeah. so you're you're stoked for this, right? Yeah. So we got snowboards, we've got uh, the toboggan, we've got the circular. What do you call this? A dish. A dish, just a dish. And uh, so, what do you expect for tomorrow? You think you're going to have to go to school? Yeah, probably. 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 Hope not. Hopefully not, yeah. but probably. Okay. Well, we want to send you all down the hill. How's the sledding looks pretty good. That's a pretty steep hill. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Show us, show us your stuff here in Wellesley. Whoa, there they go. Wow, picking up some acceleration. Oh, the snowboarder is, he takes a tumble and three spins on the snow. So, boy, this is a, a great hill. This is about as steep as you're gonna find in this part of Massachusetts. Also notice the wind has picked up. So the snow is blowing around. Our temperatures are in the upper 20s, so we're going to get some drifting now. We've uh, gotten up uh, to about six inches where I measured over Natick, and that's about 10 minutes, eight to 10 minutes away. Temperatures in the upper 20s. Let's talk about the Mass Pike. We do have an issue on the far western end from mile marker 59. That's way out west to Sturbridge, out around Chicopee Falls, from there to the New York State Line. Remember, as you get to the New York State Line, you go up in elevation, but that stretch, uh, the speed limit has been reduced to 40 miles an hour. Logan Airport still looking good uh, considering uh, the temperature is 34 so it still hasn't gone below freezing they've got some wet snowfall 
basically no accumulation right there at the airport and in the downtown Boston area, but they do have a ground delay program through tonight, so expect some uh, delays in and out of there. But so far, about 150 cancellations, about 15% of their schedule, but only one additional cancellation since last night. So uh, we have been very fortunate at Logan. There will be delays, but, you know, if, it, if they had been hit with this, there would have been a lot more uh, cancellations. Uh, Julie mentioned the power outages, 8,000 statewide. Not a huge number, but hopefully they'll be able to get that power back on. Uh, the winds will be gusting, certainly as you get down towards the south coast, the south shore and the Cape, upwards of 40 to 45 miles an hour. There is a wind advisory as the storm goes by this afternoon and pulls away. And then the big concern tonight, everything that's slushy and not frozen will freeze up, especially after the sun goes down. 4.30 here in Boston. Yeah, days are starting to get longer. So my tip is get out there and shovel and scrape before it gets dark. So tomorrow morning, uh, Julie, you don't have to go out there with a jackhammer or, or a pickaxe. So it is uh, a very snowy scene. And finally, for the first time in two years, really a good sledding setup here in Wellesley. Are you going down? Yeah. Go ahead, show us your stuff. Here he goes. Accelerates on his knees and down the hill he goes. Wow. Julie, I think I will be trying this at some point this afternoon, so stay tuned. I was going to say, next time I want to see you on one of those sleds, Mike. Mike Seidel there near Boston, thank you very much for that. Good afternoon once again. We are on the hill in Wellesley, and look at what's going on. First time in a couple of years they've had this much snow. It's uh, nice and cold. Temperatures are in the upper 20s. The wind chill is running in the upper teens. And so it is the perfect day. We're pushing six inches of snow out here in Wellesley. So we've moved from Natick, next town over, and it couldn't be nicer. These gentlemen, we've got uh, Max and Ariel. Yeah, Matt. Uh, Matt, sorry, Matt and Ariel. And uh, you've got your kids out here. Yep. Are you excited about it? As yeah, an no, they've been waiting for it. We were hoping to get more snow than we got, actually. They were hoping for the foot that everybody sort of thought they were coming. This is good enough. Hey, 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 don't be greedy. <laughs> you know. Well, we didn't get any snow last year. I know. Yeah. The airport had 12 and change, right. but it was, you know, two here, three here, and it all melted. Yeah. Right. I like your hat. Okay. Temple Beth. Temple Beth Elohim. The Dreidel Dash 5K. Yeah, I did not run, though. Is that around, <laughs> is that around Hanukkah? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, um, yeah, right around like like middle of Hanukkah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, talk about Wednesday now. We're going to get all this rain in here. It's going to be in the 50s. All this yeah. snow is going to go away. Uh, what about where you guys live? Are you concerned about snow melt, runoff, uh, flooding uh, in your particular neighborhoods? A little bit. For I mean, I live at the top of a hill, so it all goes, goes downhill. downhill. But a little chances are to leave my house and it'll go into the neighbor's yard and flood her area. And uh, sorry. Uh, uh, is that the neighbor that said would complain? <laughs> Potentially. I hope she's not watching. Uh, I think she's watching the, uh, the Patriots and Jets. Yeah. Well, maybe. <laughs> Speaking yeah. of that, they're going to be playing in the snow at Foxborough. Yeah. Not that the game means anything. Right. Will Belichick continue coaching? We'll do a little sports here. A little sports. I hope so. You hope so? I hope so. Yeah, just... I, I like Bill. I, 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 you know, it's, it's cyclical, right? Like, right. you got your eyes. You can't win it. every year. No. Even yeah. the, the gonna... Yankees found that out, mm -hmm. you know, so. Okay, guys. Hey, thanks for joining us. Thank Max, you. Ariel, and enjoy. Are you Thank going you. down the hill? No. No? Yeah, probably not. <laughs> no? What? no. I've... What's that? My dad told me he said he should go down the hill. <laughs> you think, is that your dad? Yeah, yeah, he should go down the hill. What's your name? Juliet. Juliet, your dad should go down the hill? Yeah, down the hill. Want him to go down? Okay, here we go. When's the last time you saw him go down the hill? Um, probably last year. In your lifetime? Oh, last year. Okay. All right, we're going. Max. Come on, Dad. There he goes. There goes Max. Look out. He's going to tell. Oh, he almost took out the. Oh, that was close. Nice run, Max. Oh, my gosh. Are you proud of your dad? Very proud. Yeah, there you go. Proudest moment this winter so far, huh? Okay. Nice chatting. Guys, Julie, uh, we are just, uh, you know, taking in the sights out here. It's uh, a Sunday. It's the weekend, Dr. Postel, so the impacts are less. But tomorrow, everything's going to freeze up. Tonight, everything's going to freeze up. And so we will have the impacts tomorrow morning with the temperatures out here in the upper teens and ice and snow slush frozen up rock solid. Yeah, Mike, I want to see you go down that hill with a little GoPro camera action. I need to see that next time, maybe. How about that? I will be going down the hill. Uh, I promise. All right. I promise. I will do that for you guys in the next in the next hour or so. Once I, uh, you know, get juiced up and uh, 
You know, I'm ready. Okay. You know, heck with the snow angels. Snow angels doesn't, it doesn't you don't need any kind of, uh, you know, bravery. This is, you could get hurt doing this. Snow angels, nah. Nah. So we'll prove it to you coming up here shortly. All right, Mike, thank you very much. We're going to hold you to that because we got to start talking about the next storm. Good afternoon. We're back out here on the hill in Wellesley, outside of Boston. Logan Airport has had no accumulating snow. 34 there. There was a ground delay program, so there are going to be delays, but there's only been one cancellation since midnight last night because uh, the weather. Temperatures still have not gotten down to freezing. That helps things out. And the scene in town is nothing like out here in the suburbs. We've had upwards of 10 to 12 inches around Worcester. It's 24. We're 28 right now. The wind chill's 18. Got a bit more wind as that storm intensifies and goes off the Cape. We've got a young lady here goes to Boston College, and your name is? Niaradzel. I go to Bradson College. Niaradzel. Yes. Did I say it correctly? Yes, that's correct. Thank you very much. So you're from Zimbabwe, uh, Zimbabwe and yes. obviously, if you know anything about geography, Zimbabwe is not a, a place to go for snow. Yes, it's warm throughout the head. So first time to see snow was last year? Last year, yes. And how do you deal with the cold? Are you okay with the cold? Uh, it's pretty like too much for me right now. I'm about to freeze. So. About to freeze? Yeah. Now, remember last year in February, I believe it was the 6th, when it was 10 below zero? Remember how cold it was that Saturday last year? Were you, you were here for that, right? Yes, I was here. Did you I even was, go outside? No, I did. I was inside. <laughs> this is my first time playing this. Last year, I was just inside. Have you gone down the hill yet? Yes, I have. You want to go down again on TV? <laughs> uh, I'm a bit scared because when I go down there, I'll be like, <laughs> but I can try it. You want to try it right yes, now? Yes. Okay, where are you going down on? Uh, this one. The disc? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, good luck. Yeah. We'll take you over here. Don't... You're a bit, you're a good sport. You're a good sport. They don't do this in Zimbabwe. Do you need a push? There you go. Ah. Whoa, nice job and team. She wipes out at the end. Wow. Nice job down there. Boston College and uh, from Zimbabwe. Second time to see snow. First time to go down the, the hill was earlier today. So, uh, guys, Dr. Nab, Julie Martin, just continues to pile up. It's a more powdery snow now because it's in the upper 20s. And this will wind down later this afternoon, Dr. Postel. Uh, then it gets cold tonight upper teens out here, and even on Tuesday morning, we're gonna be down in the upper teens and low 20s. Then a very rapid warm up as we've been talking about, and by Tuesday night and Wednesday, temperatures back up into the 50s, and uh, an inch or two or more rainfall. So by Wednesday, this is all gonna be gone. That's it. And we'll keep an eye on the flooding situation too across New England and the Northeast. Dr. Postel? Uh, yeah, get your sledding in now, Mike. I can't wait to see that video. Thank you very much. Good afternoon once again. We're out here in Wellesley, Mass, west of Boston, where we're now up to seven inches of snow. Temperatures in the upper 20s, the wind chill in the upper teens. The winds have been picking up through the morning and now into the afternoon, especially as you get towards the Cape of uh, the South Coast and the islands. We've got that wind advisory into this evening. Back here in Natick, it's just a beautiful afternoon. The ski, the sled hill, and even some Snowboarding uh, folks out in the distance. We'll go back over there, have some more fun, show you what it's like to enjoy the first significant snowfall in two years here in Metro Boston. Well, you know, there's some dogs like those Huskies that love the snowfall. And we met the owner this morning, and we also got introduced to a young pup named Alfredo. Yesterday he was howling at the sky because I think he could sense that the snow was coming. He's very excited for the snow. He's six, seven months old. He has never seen snow before. We got him in July. So uh, he, when he saw the snow today, he just kind of like moved it around with his nose and he's been flying around Native Commons ever since. <laughs> Those dogs can't get enough of the snow. They don't like the warm weather. In fact, we talked to a gentleman later he says in the summer he has to keep his house at 62 degrees, uh, otherwise his husky, his Sammy gets overheated. So good to see Alfredo out there enjoying uh, the snowfall. Meanwhile, Logan Airport still above freezing. Last check, 34, some light snow. There is a ground delay program there, so there will be delays, but uh, we have avoided a huge mess 
with, uh, you know, literally hundreds of cancellations uh, today at Logan. Tomorrow, the sun will come back out. And don't forget, everything that's slushy and not frozen in areas closer to the city where it's above freezing will quickly freeze up as we get past the 4 o'clock hour and the sun sets. Dr. Postel, it's nice to see Alfredo loves the snow because if he didn't <laughs> like the snow and didn't want to go out in it, we have to refer to him as Chicken Alfredo. You know, I didn't think about that, but you're right, Mike. I mean, you got to enjoy the snow where you can because a big change in the weather is upcoming. You is straight out to the Boston Metro now. That's where we find meteorologist Mike Seidel. Mike, so the kids having a little fun in the snow while it lasts because it'll be gone this week. Yeah, it's going to wash away Wednesday. That's another big concern. Another update from Logan Airport. The wind has come around to the northwest. The temperature now has dropped down to 30. And they've got heavy snow as of just a few minutes ago, uh, meaning the visibility is a quarter mile. So there's a ground stop at Logan until at least 2.15. Uh, they're holding planes in the air because of the uh, visibility and the treatments and the snow removal. We'll see if that changes, but Boston now has gotten into the cold air. The storm goes by, the cold air goes back in. It is cold now. We're in the upper 20s, wind chills in the upper teens. And look at these uh, fine folks from Massachusetts. Are you staying warm out here? Yeah. Well, look what they have. This is the way you do it. Munchkins, munchkins and uh, a cup, a box of Joe from, uh, I guess, Wellesley runs on Duncan, huh? <laughs> Are you guys excited about the snow? Yeah. It's fun. What's that? What'd you say? I was excited for the snow, but I wasn't expecting it to be this snow. Oh, you weren't expecting it to be this snowy. Where did you get your weather forecast from? You know? Your dad? Yeah, Oh, I don't know. Who's this, Who's your dad? <laughs> do, you, do you hear what she said? She didn't expect it to be this snowy. She said they got. she got her forecast from you. <laughs> okay, enjoy the munchkins. And now it's time for me to go down the hill. And where where did my toboggan go? Somebody took my toboggan. I have a toboggan here. Well, no, I need a toboggan. What happened to my toboggan? It's over there. Hold on, I'm gonna. Can I borrow that toboggan? Huh? I'm too big for that toboggan? No, this thing. Hey, can I borrow that toboggan, sir? What? Can I borrow that to go down? I, I, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you so much. I thought you were talking about this. No, no, I, I wouldn't go on that. Okay, here we go. Where are we? Here we are. Okay, stand by. Dr. Postel, Julie, here we go, buddy. Oh, my gosh. I don't want to hit anybody. Oh, my gosh. Here we go. Whoa. Look out. That was a good solid run. I think I went the farthest than anybody. Of course, I have more weight than anybody else. But uh, okay, Julie, <laughs> look how far I went. Not too shabby, huh? <laughs> you worried me there for a minute. I thought you were gonna hit somebody, but <laughs> you did a good job, Mike. You did it. Well, I, I steered clear. That was, that was a close invigorating. One. Oh my gosh. Getting okay, in, well, getting in the cardio this is what now you're doing. Have a good back. time out here. We'll, <laughs> we'll head back up the hill and we'll see you in just a few minutes. All right, Mike. Good stuff. Thank you so much, Mike. It's Mike Seidel there on the sled. Good afternoon once again. We are sledding on the Weather Channel. What a beautiful Sunday, the first Sunday of the new year, and it finally got a decent snowfall out here in Wellesley, west of Boston. We've got about seven inches on the ground and counting. Another one to three will fall before it winds down around dinner time. By the way, the ground stop at Logan has now been extended until 2.30. The cold air has finally gotten in there. It's 30 degrees, gusty northwest winds. Visibility was a quarter mile last check. So between the visibility and the treatments and the snow removal, uh, they are holding planes in the air, a little delay pattern so they can keep the runways open. We'll see if they extend that after 2.30. Uh, Meanwhile, we've got these young ladies. Good morning or good afternoon. How are you guys? Turn around. Turn around to the camera now. You think you said one of them? What's that? Yeah. Okay, are you ready to go down the hill? Yeah. yeah. Now, you didn't, did you sled any last year? Oh, uh, yeah. You did? Yeah. But this is pretty good, huh? 
Yeah. Okay, are you going down? Oh, you're going to be a triangle. kind of a triangle? Yeah. Oh, this is cool. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I almost want to hop in that one, but I'll let, let's go. It's, it's a triangle. Should I push you guys? Look out. Unless you want to get mowed down. Mowed down by the roller. Mowed, mowed down by the roller. <laughs> okay, here we go. The triangle. Hang on. Now, that is... Uh, that is a great group of uh, kids spinning around. Wow. Dr. Postel, how about that, huh? Mike Seidel. It's a beautiful day out here. I think we I think I think we created some vorticity on the hill. I don't know. You can talk about that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they were spinning around. That's the kind of thing that you like to see when you're going down a hill. You don't just want to go downhill. You also want to roll around like that. But Mike, that's some really cool stuff. Thank you very much. Um, you've got a lot more uh, sliding to do, it looks like, in the coming hours. So we'll get back up to you in a second here. We are uh, loving this snowstorm here in Wellesley, the suburbs of Boston getting up to a foot of snowfall. We've had about seven plus inches here in Wellesley. The temperatures falling through uh, the upper 20s now into the mid 20s with wind chills in the teens and tomorrow, night, uh, tomorrow morning in the upper teens. So everything that's slushy, uh, especially back towards Boston is now freezing up because Logan Airport has dropped below freezing and still the ground stopped till at least 2.30 a few minutes from now. We've got Josephine, who is two years old. Hello, Josephine. How are you today? Good? Are you excited about the snow? Ah, oh, she's, she's, she's trying to find the words. How about you, Ryan? You're excited? Now, is this your, her first time sledding or going down the hill? First time? Okay, let's see how she handles it. Josephine and Ryan, go ahead, Josephine. Show us your stuff, buddy. And there's the proud dad. Getting, getting them, uh, oh, uh oh. There they go. What's your name? JP. JP, look at that. She's not scared one bit, is she? Amazing. Amazing, huh? Had a chance to take advantage of the weather, so. Yeah. Why not? Take advantage of the snow while you have it. Absolutely. Here we yeah. Go. It's been almost two years, I right? Yeah, literally. So. Well, thanks for sharing uh, the kids there. Josephine, two years old, going down there like a seasoned professional. Uh, the snow continues to come down another one to three inches. Uh, the issue tomorrow morning will be the freeze up. The sun will be out tomorrow. The high tomorrow will be 36, 37. And then the problem comes in on Tuesday. Later Tuesday, we'll have some wintry precip. Depending how far north and west you are, Boston, it may start off as snow, sleet, freezing rain. But then everybody, even uh, Vermont, New Hampshire, the mountains, the ski resorts, Tuesday night and a Wednesday morning will go over to rain, and we're looking at one to three inches of rain on top of the snowpack, the snow melt. Highs in Boston on Wednesday will be in the mid 50s, almost 20 degrees above average. Then it turns cold again after that. But uh, enjoy the snow while you can today, tomorrow, into Tuesday, because by Wednesday, this, this will be a barren hill once again with that warm weather. So, uh, Dr. Postel and Julie, uh, just an incredible winter afternoon. Finally, after four, after two years, they've gotten a good snowfall here. Remember, Logan last year only had 12.9. Uh, so far, we don't have a total from there. They just changed over, Dr. Postel, uh, to snow. Well, they had some wet snow earlier, but they really just dropped below freezing. So we'll see how much they can scrape out on the back end of uh, the storm here in uh, southeast Massachusetts. Yeah, Mike, thank you very much. Good afternoon again. We're in Wellesley on the uh, big hill at Elk Reservation. We have had a great afternoon because they've had seven inches of snow. The kids, the adults have been out here loving the fact that it's really the first time in a couple of years they've had this much snow. Last year, some kids were out here. They said it was like grass and snow mixed, kind of like snowing in Georgia, you know, sledding in Georgia. Meanwhile, we've got three great young ladies, Nora, Sophia, and Marlo. Did I get it right? Yeah. Yes. It's still working up here. You guys are just loving this, aren't you? Yeah. And look at this. She got her she got her GoPro cam. Oh my gosh. So you've been recording some of your downhill ventures? Yeah. Okay, that's exciting. And the marketing genius of the movie industry. This is a Barbie Fun Boy blow up snowmobile. You can, <laughs> what will they think of this? Now does, does this really work? Uh no. Not really, I didn't think so. You guys want to show us your stuff? Sure. There we got Marlo, Sophia, Nora, you're going to be, uh, where are you going to be, Nora? In the back? Um, probably, yeah. Right in the back? Okay. Just a, just a great afternoon out here. 
this beautiful, not too cold, wind chills in the upper teens. But you know, after a while, do you need a push? Sure. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Right on the back of Nora, here we go. Down the hill. Nice run, gals. No, no flip outs, no spin outs, and past the bushes. If you can get past those bushes, that's a pretty good run. That's about as far as you're gonna get. Nice job, ladies. Yes, that's the kind of day we're having out here. Dr. Postel, it doesn't get any We wanna get you out into the Boston Metro. That's where we find meteorologist Mike Seidel. Mike, I know the kids have been having a lot of fun out there in Wellesley, uh, but the temperatures are dropping, at least in Boston. They are. Logan Airport now 27. The winds are gusting to 32 miles an hour. Heavy snow. So they have finally changed over and the ground's getting white right in the city. But until about an hour and a half ago or so, it was just wet streets. They had wet flakes. So there have been some additional cancellations and the ground delay program, but the ground stop has been lifted. So that helps out the plane circling in the air. Meanwhile, back here at the Sledding Hill in Wellesley, we've got the pride of Wellesley Middle School. We've got eight guys that are suited up. This gentleman no hat. You're hardcore, huh? Yes. Yeah. And uh, they're hoping for a delay tomorrow as far as school goes. There they are. We'll show their faces. And look at this. The small guy in the back. What's your name, sir? Uh, I'm Kevin, but I go by seven. By seven? Mm -hmm. Kevin goes by seven. Okay, are we ready? This is the most we've had go downhill this afternoon. Eight in a train. Do I have to start somebody? Do I have to push? Or what? what how, how do you get this started? You just push? Okay, here we go. Try not to take anybody out. This is a very slow process. We don't have all afternoon. It's going to rain Wednesday. <laughs> there we go. Let me help you guys. Oh my God. <laughs> this, is, this is not the way it's supposed to turn out. Here we go. Let me pull you. Here we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> There's been some kind of mix up going down the hill. Well, that wasn't pretty, but they got down the hill nonetheless. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Anyway, back to the snowfall. Mentioned Boston now getting snow. Worcester, those areas, and up towards the uh, valley, uh, the valley route to north, uh, they've had as much as a foot of snow because everything fell with snow. Even last night in Natick, we were getting wet snow and rain. But lots of people out here. This is, I think, the biggest hill in the area. In this area, biggest hill by far? Definitely. Definitely. No doubt. No. No doubt. So, Julie, a lot of fun out here. We finally got the, uh, the gang of eight from Wellesley down the hill, as you saw. It wasn't an easy process, but they made it. Yeah, it was, wasn't pretty. You're getting your workout, though, Mike, uh, trying to pull all those kids. That's pretty impressive. Yes. Uh, I'm glad no one was in the way as the, the eight sailed down that hill. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> Mike Seidel, thank you very much. We're wrapping up the afternoon here in Wellesley, just outside of Boston. We've had seven inches of snow. It's still coming down. We've been on the sledding hill. We're going to go back there. It's way over there in the distance. Some of the kids coming out. Did you guys have a great time? Yes. Yes. They've been out here for three or four hours. We've been out here since lunchtime, and it's just been an enjoyable afternoon. In fact, we ran into a, a gal from Zimbabwe, as you can imagine, has not seen a whole lot of snow and felt a lot of cold weather, and we talked to her about the experience about an hour ago. So you're from Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe and yes. obviously, if you know anything about geography, Zimbabwe is not a, a place to go for snow. Yes, it's warm throughout the hill. So, first time to see snow was last year? Last year, yes. And how do you deal with the cold? Are you okay with the cold? Uh, it's pretty much too much for me right now. I'm about to freeze. This is my first time trying this. Last year I was just inside. Have you gone down the hill yet? Yes, I have. You want to go down again on TV? <laughs> Uh, I'm scared, but so when I go down there, I'll be like, but I can try. They don't do this in Zimbabwe. Do you need a push? There you go. Uh. Whoa, nice job. And she, she wipes out at the end. Wow. Nice job down there.
That was quite a run considering she's seen very little snow in her lifetime. You can imagine that there's probably some trepidation uh, because you go down the hill and you don't have a whole lot of control, but fortunately uh, the elevation change, the grade is not too incredibly steep. We've had a ground stop earlier at Boston. They finally at Logan Airport went over the snow until a couple of hours ago was staying above freezing. So that really cut down on additional cancellations. Now we're seeing some additional cancellations. We're now up under just under 200. So not horrible uh, because we didn't get this kind of snow in the city. But now they've uh, got a nice cover there, at least an inch, if not two inches, right in the city because temperatures have fallen from 34 down to 27. Out here we're in the mid 20s. And again, the problem tonight will be anything that's slushy and not frozen already, uh, which is basically what's on the roads that have been treated, that is going to freeze up tomorrow night or tomorrow morning's lows here in the upper teens, the low 20s in town. So keep that in mind. An icy morning and the best bet before it gets dark in about an hour and 15 minutes is to get out there and shovel and scrape and you'll be in much better shape tomorrow morning. And then Wednesday, Tuesday night and Wednesday, the rain comes and washes all this away. But we are seriously concerned about flooding issues in the interior northeast of New England where they got this big snowstorm. And then it's on to Finn. The rain from Finn, the snow in the Midwest, and we'll keep you updated on that throughout this evening. We're on extended hours tonight because Dr. Postel of the next storm, the blizzard potential, uh, the snowstorm overall and the rain flooding potential and the tornado potential. So this storm, Finn, is going to have more of an impact and a wider footprint uh, than the, uh, the current uh, storm. Mike, you're right about that. The next winter storm is going to be a lot more powerful than the one in progress over the northeast. Well, the snow continues to add up here in southern New England. I'm meteorologist Mike Seidel in Wellesley outside of Boston where they have gotten seven to eight inches of snow. Some spots have had a foot of snow uh, out beyond 495. And uh, you talk about the Merrimack River Valley going up towards Lowell and then also around 495 towards Worcester. Those areas have had the uh, jackpot snowfalls. Now in Boston at Logan, they went over the snow about an hour and a half or so ago. It's now down in the mid 20s. So winter has returned to the city and now things are getting uh, dicey there. But up until then, it was all a cold rain or snow all night until about uh, about 1 2 o'clock this afternoon. So we've been dealing with the snow and having fun on the sledding hill back there. We're going to go back there in about 20 minutes and head down the hill once more. But we talked to a group of people earlier uh, enjoying this great wintry weather. And I asked a young lady in the crowd where she got her weather forecast from. Take a listen. Are you guys excited about the snow? Yeah! yeah it's fun. It's fun. What's that? <laughs> What'd you say? I was excited for the snow, but I wasn't excited. Oh, you weren't expecting it to be this snowy. Where'd you get your weather forecast from? Your dad? Yeah, your dad. Oh, I don't know. Who's his, Who's your dad? <laughs> do, you, do you hear what she said? She didn't expect it to be this snowy. She said they got. She got her forecast from you. <laughs> Well, there you go. <laughs> Consider the source. Anyway, things have turned out pretty much as predicted in the uh, suburbs. Uh, in Boston itself, it took a while to change over, but now the cold air has moved in. And we're looking at, uh, I guess, the storm total at Logan will probably end up around two to three inches. I'm just kind of estimating at this point. This is going to wind down in the next few hours. Scrape and shovel if you can before it gets dark because everything's going to freeze up if it already hasn't frozen up. And then tomorrow morning will uh, dawn bright and sunny. Highs tomorrow, 37, 38. That'll help us out, certainly uh, in the areas being hit by the sun. And then the heads up on the impact on Tuesday. Enough cold air that whatever starts falling will fall, especially in the suburbs, as either sleet, freezing rain, or snow. It will go over to rain. And then uh, Tuesday night into Wednesday morning, heavy rainfall uh, on snow melt, localized flooding. And we'll keep an eye on many areas, especially the rivers and tributaries, anywhere from Pennsylvania uh, up into New England, the interior, Dr. Postel, where we had the heavy snowfall. Hey, Mike, you know, if my daughter did that to me and said my forecast was that bad, grounded, done. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm you kidding. Know, you know, remember, Sn remember Snowmageddon uh, eight years ago in Atlanta? Yes. You know, people are stuck on the road. 
my wife Christina called me and said, why didn't, you, why didn't you tell me about this? You know, I'm out of town covering a storm. I wasn't even paying attention. She's on uh, Piedmont off 75. She went like one mile in eight hours. So trust me, uh, I was grounded. <laughs> yeah, just like the flights right now, unfortunately, at Logan. We are back here in Wellesley. We're about 45 minutes before it gets dark. And we're still getting in the last runs here on the uh, sledding hill at Elk Reservation. It's been an incredible afternoon and morning because they haven't had this much snow in over two years. And it's just still coming down. Another inch or two, it'll wind down in the next uh, couple of hours, and that'll be it. But overnight, sky's clear. Our temperatures tomorrow morning out here in the burbs in the upper teens, low 20s in Boston. Logan finally went over to snow about two hours ago. So even in the city, things have turned white and icy. And that'll be the case tomorrow morning. We'll see if schools are on a delay or even canceled. Airport is not running as smoothly as it was because they had the ground stop for about an hour, but that's been lifted. Ground delay program continues at Logan. And we continue to talk to all the enthusiasts out here going down on toboggans and uh, whatever else they can find. And we've got two young ladies here. What's your name? Sammy. Sammy? Sammy, I love that. And what's your name? Estivia. Estivia? Yeah. Okay. Like the like the sugar, stevia? Sort of. No, not quite, huh? Now, have you ladies had a great time out here today? Yeah. Are you looking forward to more sledding tomorrow if you don't have school? Yeah. Yeah? And how about last year? It wasn't very snowy, was it? Uh -uh. Definitely. No. Yeah. Okay, you want to see me go down the hill? Oh my gosh. Yeah. You said, oh my gosh. <laughs> you don't think I can do it? Uh, no, I just think you'll hurt yourself. You yeah. think I'll hurt myself? Have you ever gone down on the sled? Yes, twice, and I'm still in one piece. And I'm like 67 years old, so hey, you, you want to see me go down? Yeah. And Dr. Postel and Julie and the, the crew in the control room want to see me go down one more time. The object here is not to take anybody out and not to hurt yourself. So here we go. Oh my gosh. Uh oh, okay, look out. Four. <laughs> Wait, man, I got the rope around my... Okay, here we go. Dr. Postel... Oh my gosh, here I go, look out! Oh, I didn't quite make it, I wiped out. But I'm in one piece. There you go. I couldn't, hold, I couldn't keep control, on the, it's kind of icy right now. So uh, there you go, what an afternoon out here. A lot of fun, you guys having fun out here? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah? 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 